Hey there beautiful souls, today's reading will be dedicated to the potential that you have in the connection that you are in or it could be just a crush or somebody that you know but you are wondering what is the potential between you two, can things work out between you two, this is what we are going to focus on, we are going to look for the potential in that connection, how things might go. And first of all, I would like to apologize for my voice because it might sound a bit more weird than it usually does. It's because I have a sore throat and I'm a bit sick, which is kind of weird because I'm almost never sick, <laughs> but never say never. So yeah, I will start with the pile picking. But before that, please don't forget that Bulbasaur is here wearing the pride uh, hand wrist to remind you that you should be proud of who you are regardless of anything because we are in June, June is a pride month, so yeah. Okay, let's proceed with the pile picking because I told you the entire week I'm going to use fruits and vegetables for the pile picking and later on I might include this deck in readings as well because this deck has um, some interesting symbols and has some depth as well. Okay, let's see which card is going to represent pile number one. We have uh, lemon. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Which card is going to represent pile number two? We have bas basil, okay. I actually like the smell of that uh, plant of the basil. Mm, which, which plant or yeah, which plant is going to represent pile number three? Here there are only plants. There are no animals. Well, there are some symbols as well in the cards. We have carrots, okay. So, as usual, I will give you a few seconds in order to focus, in order to just uh, guide your intuition towards a card that, um, that attracts you the most. Also, as an advice, I would give you just to think about the person that is on your mind, and that might help you to choose a card easier. But I will give you a few seconds where the cards will be a bit more like clear and you will have your time to pick the card that will direct to your reading. So, I'll meet you in the readings. Hello there, pal number one. For those of you who chose the lemon, the lemon is saying to you cleansing. So I think there might need to be stuffs regarding your connection with that person that need to be cleared up, some kind of clearing, some kind of cleansing. And also it has Gemini energy. Gemini is usually associated with communication, with uh, talk, with, um, yeah, with all kind of conversations. So maybe there are things that need to be talked out with the person that is on your mind. And also the the lemon, I mean that, I don't know, I just think about that citrus juice, which uh, probably I need right now because of my sit sickness with all that vitamin C. But yeah, I just think about that juice that it's like cleansing. It's like, um, it can be also used for cleaning. And yeah, something needs to be cleared up here in that connection. And also the lemon has a lot of vitamin C. <laughs> if you are sick, I, I recommend you to have some lemon juice or something, but yeah. Okay, let's go with, let's proceed with the reading before I start talking some nonsense. Okay. I will use the animal spirits in order to just get some main topics regarding you and the person that is on your mind. And we will proceed with the tarot cards, with the uh, Rider Waite tarot further with the main topic which is about the potential between you and the person that is on your mind. So please spirit give us some main ideas, some kind of um, main topics for that connection 
we are going to take a look at the potential of that connection but please give us some main ideas main topics something that we need to know about this connection we have the elk okay so elk is representing masculine energy here elk is trustworthy and um yeah, it's a general energy here, having this card, uh, I sense a lot of stability within this. Either it represents you or represents the person that is on your mind, but... Or maybe it represents both of you, because we are talking about the connection. But here somebody is quite trustworthy, somebody knows what they want, and somebody is, um, has strong masculine energy. By strong masculine energy, I mean health type of masculine energy, the one that uh, is protecting, the one that is protective towards uh, towards the things that they find worthy, towards the things that they like, towards the things that they they find valuable. So, indeed, I feel some kind of a trustworthy energy from this elk, especially just by taking a look at the eyes of this uh, elk. And also the horns that it has, they look like three branches, which um, also kind of screams stability in my head, some kind of stable energy, some kind of, um, yeah. But I just know that there is something like an eclipse on this card as well, something that is blocking the sun. And it's like <laughs> that power from the eclipse is reflected on the horns of that elk. It's quite interesting. Maybe later it will reveal itself, if the other cards have something more to say, maybe I will get some message about that sun and that thing on the horns of the elk. Let's proceed further. Please, Spirit, give us information, I mean, give us some more main topics regarding that connection. Please give us some more main topics or just some main energy regarding the connection that that is between the person who chose the lemon and the one that is on their mind. Oh, we have the crow. The crow has mysterious energy. Even the orb that the crow is carrying, it has some kind of... Um, it has multicolors and it's quite mysterious. Well, having the crow here I sense some kind of spiritual connection here. Just going to place it. It might be some kind of spiritual connection between you and the person that is on your mind because the crow is quite mysterious and quite spiritual creature. And uh, I sense something like secrets, something like deep secrets here, something, something that is deep. And yeah, just taking a look at this crow I'm just going to pick it up again. Taking a look at this crow, it's like this crow is diving in the darkness and carrying some kind of light, something precious. And yeah, I'm feeling like regarding your connection with that person, whether you are in relationship with them or whether, whether this is someone that you have crush on and you are just curious about the, your potential with that person, there is some kind of uh, hidden message here with that crow. There is some kind of um, something rare, some kind of um, something that you might not be expecting. It's either either it's going to bring some kind of lessons or something that is necessary in your life, or yeah, I just sense some kind of uh, mysterious energy here. And to be honest. It has something to do with intuition. Maybe you are intuitively sensing something regarding that person that is on your mind. That there is some kind of connection here. Some kind of connection that is um, different than many other connections that you might have had. Because a crow is like messenger from other dimensions. So probably most of you who are watching this, you already sense something regarding that connection with the person that is on your mind. But what gets my attention again is that darkness that is below and that orb that is like the light there that is the only colorful thing. Even the crow itself has no colors. So my attention got, gets fixated automatically to that, to that orb that has colors. So 
maybe some of you are like um, the light in the darkness of that person. Maybe some of you are... I just get the idea that here we might have somebody that is a bit more like boring. Not boring, I don't want to say boring, but somebody that is a bit more reserved. Somebody that is a bit more engaged with their material everyday life, with their work and career and stuff like this. While with that orb, I feel like some of you might be representing that colors within that um, tedious uh, everyday life. All right, let's take some more cards. Please, Spirit, give us more information. What we need to know as a main topic for that connection. Oh, we have the horse. So, actually, I'm not going to put it yet. I'm just going to hold it so you can see. Well, with the horse spirit, what I'm sensing is that somebody here is trustworthy. I mean, similar like the elk. But at the same time, freedom loving. This is either you or the person on your mind. Somebody here is freedom loving. But at the same time, goal oriented because when the horse is uh, focused on something when the horse has some kind of um, destination or something that uh, some kind of place where the horse needs to be the horse is charging freely towards that place so i'm definitely sensing here somebody that is quite goal oriented somebody might be might be focused a lot on their career as well but also here we have moon which represents feminine energy there is some kind of um, softness in that horse as well it has like um, it is a bit uh, goal oriented maybe career oriented for some of you regarding your person it has earth energy but at the same time i sense some kind of soft side in that horse there is some kind of softness I was planning to take only three cards, but I will take one more. Please, Spirit, give us information. What we need to know more about that connection. What we need to know more about that connection between the person who chose the lemon and the one that is on their mind. What more we need to know is some information here as a main topic. Oh, we have the fox. Okay. Again, the fox is um, in this... Uh, in this deck, the fox doesn't represent some kind of uh, trickery or something. But in this deck, the fox is someone that is oriented uh, towards their their career and their family. So it is similar with the elk card. But here, with this fox, it wants to represent someone that is family-oriented, someone that is protecting families, someone that has family as, a, as, a, as their ideal, as their um, objective to protect. And at the same time, someone who is quite creative and trying to use their creativity in order to succeed in their professional life. So we have a lot of earth energy here. Someone that is that is quite stable, that is oriented towards stability. At the same time, someone who is very protective, very protective towards um, their goals, very protective towards the people around them and protective towards their family or the family that they want to build okay these are the main energies so let's use the tarot cards and see what we are going to get about that potential about that person just bear with me until i get the cards Going to shuffle like this in order to refresh the deck a bit. Okay. First question. First question would be. Mm, okay, first I'm going to check the current energy of that person, and then I'm going to proceed with the core question regarding the potential between you two. 
Although maybe I can just go with the potential. Yeah, I will just go with the potential. That's how I will proceed with the next uh, piles as well. So please, Spirit, give us answer here. What we need to know about the potential between the person who chose the lemon and the person that is on their mind. What is the potential for their connection, for their relationship? What we need to know. The Hanged Man in Reverse. Ace of Wands under this one and Four of Wands in Reverse. Okay, this is coming interesting here. So having the Hanged Man in Reverse position, this might indicate some kind of sacrifice that needs to be made, but mm, Somebody is not willing to make this sacrifice since the hangman comes in reverse position. Maybe that sacrifice has something to do with work or career. Maybe somebody needs to sacrifice something, some, some, something regarding their professional life in order to, in order to start something, in order to build up their family life. But also having the Ace of Wands under this card, indeed, I'm sensing. Well, the Ace of Wands wants to indicate some kind of a new beginning. In order to have some kind of new beginning here, this card wants to indicate that someone needs to make a sacrifice. I don't know what kind of sacrifice this is, but somebody needs to make some kind of sacrifice in order to have a new beginning, in order to start something with that person. Either you or the person on your mind need to make some kind of sacrifice. Uh, for the different people, it might resonate in a different way since this is a collective tarot, but you can know from your life if there is something that you need to let go in order to be with that person or if they need to let go of something in order to be with you. And having the four of wands in reverse position, this wants to indicate that this could be very stable. This could lead to an absolute stability. This card represents um, deep, stable connection. This card represents happy, stable family. But since this card came in reverse, here we have some kind of um, indecision, some kind of instability as a general energy. And uh, I think it all comes from that sacrifice that needs to be made. But we are going to go deeper in this. Mm. Please, please give us more information about that sacrifice what we need to know about it we have the four of uh, cups and in the bottom we have the queen of pentacles so with the four of cups here in reverse position it wants to indicate that someone was like not not able to to not focus, but someone was not uh, seeing something, someone was uh, closing their eyes, someone was uh, not paying attention. And since this card came in reverse, regarding the sacrifice, it wants to indicate that somebody is starting finally to see something, somebody is finally starting to realize something. Either someone was not interested in that connection before, but then they realize that they have some kind of interest and they, fo they shift their focus towards that person or that person shifts their focus towards you. But this is regarding that sacrifice also. And we have the Queen of Pentacles in the... We have the Queen of Pentacles in the bottom of the deck as well. Which might indicate that uh, some of some of you or or the person that is on your mind might have to sacrifice something from their professional life especially with this queen of uh, pentacles here because the way i see her she's holding the pentacle in her hands but she seems a bit unhappy she seems a bit i mean you can see that her head is a bit inclined down and she might have everything, she might have everything around her, but something feels like it's missing. Something is like, on material level, I sense that here in this connection, somebody might be having everything. Somebody might be quite stable on material level in their career or in their professional life. But 
What they are missing is has nothing to do with their professional life. What they are missing is something deeper, some something emotional, something um, something regarding love and something regarding feelings here. Because here we have earth energy, but we don't have uh, that much water. And the water actually comes from from the cups. The emotions are coming from the cups and the Queen of Pentacles is representing the stability, the earth energy. So, well, as a general idea, I feel like somebody needs to make a bit, a bit of sacrifice towards from their professional life, from their professional goals and uh, embrace more their feelings and emotions in order to make this work. At least this is what the cards indicated until now. But we are going to go further and see what else the cards want to say regarding this potential. Please, Spirit, give us more information regarding the potential between the person who chose the lemon and the one that is on their mind. What we need to know about the potential between them. What we need to know about the potential for relationship or... Okay, this one wanted to come. High Priestess in Reverse, okay, and Nine of Swords, okay, this also came quite interesting here, the Knight of Wands in Reverse position, well, this Knight of Wands, normally, this Knight is somebody who likes to travel, somebody who likes to explore, but at the same time they are not that serious, and since this card came in Reverse position, what I'm feeling from this card is uh, energy that is a bit blocked, like somebody that wants to travel, somebody that wants to run around the world. Again, here we have a horse, here also we have a horse. Somebody that wants to roam around freely, but at the same time we have some kind of blockage, something that is not allowing them. It's like repressed energy here. But also it might indicate settling down, like not uh, not moving too much around settling down in one place and having the high priestess in reverse position it normally the high priestess is related with secrets she holds all the secrets of tarot and she she is the one who is the secret keeper but since she came in reverse position here we are talking about some kind of blocked intuition some kind of um, something that is not perceived the right way something that um, yeah, maybe somebody here is not listening to their, to their intuitions. Somebody's avoiding their intuitions. And maybe literally somebody's trying to run away from their intuition because we have that knight on top of the high priestess. That knight is usually somebody that is not that... Um, somebody who doesn't like to attach themselves too deep. Somebody that likes to be a bit more superficial. And maybe somebody's trying to just just not uh, well somebody's not that uh, able not able to go that deep maybe somebody's not ready to settle yet in this connection and in the bottom of the deck we have the nine of swords which indicates some kind of um, troubleful some kind of some kind of thoughts that are troubling someone thoughts that are not letting someone sleep this came as a general energy for the potential, so I feel like some of you might be worrying a lot about that person or some of you might be thinking a lot of, the, uh, of that person. Some of you might be literally like obsessed of that person and thinking about them a lot. And yeah, this came a bit confusing to me as well because having the Knight of Wands and the High Priestess under this card, both of them in reverse, I feel like here there is something that we cannot see, something that is not revealed because the High Priestess is usually someone who holds secrets and especially since she came in reverse position, maybe she wants to indicate that here on the surface someone might be appearing a bit more not, somebody might be appearing a bit more laid back, someone that who is not, um, who likes to roam around and doesn't uh, want to 
to engage with serious uh, relationship or serious matters. But there is something that we don't know because High Priestess is holding secrets. She's holding secrets and secrets that are going to be revealed in a later period when we are ready to find them. That's when the High Priestess is going to reveal her secrets. But indeed, I sense a lot of frustration here. Either it's on your side or on their side. But somebody's thinking a lot here. Somebody has a lot of thoughts and is not able to sleep. Well, not literally not able to sleep, but might be having trouble sleeping, might be having nightmares, might be having a lot of dreams regarding that person. Okay, let's take some more cards. Let's ask... Uh, hmm. Let's ask about the potential outcome here. Please, Spirit, give us more information. What is the potential outcome from this connection? What is the potential outcome from this connection? What we need to know about the outcome? What it could be? What is the potential outcome? Seven of Swords in Reverse. King of Wands. And in the bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. Okay, this came beautiful. <laughs> so, the Seven of Swords, it wants to indicate somebody that is... Um, actually, this makes a lot of sense here. Because the Seven of Swords in reverse wants to say that somebody was manipulating this. Somebody was holding back. Somebody was uh, maybe deceiving themselves. Maybe cheating on themselves. Someone was like uh, pretending to be something that they are not. Somebody was pretending that they were not interested, maybe. But having the Seven of Swords in reverse position as a potential outcome for this wants to indicate that um, this person is going to stop with their pretending. They are going to they are going to come honest to to themselves. They they will be honest uh, with you, and they will just um, let go of the mask that they they have been wearing and having the king of wands under this card again it wants to indicate someone who is uh, ready to make a steady move someone who is ready and bold to just take an action and let go of that um, that mask or whatever they were wearing so in the bottom of the deck we have the ten of cups which as a general energy wants to indicate, I mean, you can see the card itself, that it's quite positive. As a general energy, the Ten of Cups wants to indicate that uh, the potential of this could lead to that happy family, that happy connection, that full happiness that we see in this card with all the rainbow. And you can just sense how things are like radiating from this card. The happiness is radiating all over from this card. So... I will take some songs for you as well. It might resonate for some of you, it might not. Just take it with a grain with a grain of salt. <laughs> grain of salt. Uh, okay, these are too many. I will take I will take four. The first song we have, Avicii, Waiting for Love. So, maybe somebody here is not ready to open for for love yet because they are waiting for the one. They, are, they don't want to settle with uh, anything less. They just want to find the one. And they are waiting for that one person. Olivia Rodrigo, Vampire. Okay. <laughs> So with this song, somebody has uh, somebody has angry kind of energy. Somebody is blaming the other person. Somebody feels used. Three doors down here without you. Okay, <laughs> this is quite sad. Mm. With this song. This song wants to indicate some kind of longing energy. Somebody is missing the other person. Somebody wants to be with the other person, but they are somewhere away. 
Also having the Knight of Wands one might indicate some kind of distance as well. And finally we have Charlie Put and Wiz Khalifa. See you again. Okay. So indeed maybe you are not in contact with that person. Maybe you don't see each other that much anymore. But this song wants to indicate that there might be some kind of return here. Somebody might return and you might see that person again. So these were your messages pile number one. Please keep it in mind that this is a collective reading, so maybe not everything might be resonating with your situation, but uh, yeah, just take the messages that your intuition is telling you that are for you. And yeah, that was it. If you find the reading uh, useful, if you find um, the reading um, interesting, please don't hesitate to hit the like button so more people can reach it. And also feel free to subscribe to my channel because your support literally means the world to me. So that was it, pal number one. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your attention. And I hope to see you again. Wish you a pleasant rest of the day. Bye. Hey there, pal number two. For those of you who chose the basil, let's take a look what the basil wants to say to you. The card is saying trust and it has fire energy. Also, it has Scorpio. And I noticed this eye here. So... This card invites you to trust whatever is going on between you and the person that is on your mind. This card says to you, you should trust. There is something like, there is something uh, like a higher power. There is some kind of potential there and you should just trust that everything is going to work out in the best possible way for you. And also Scorpio is a sign that usually dives quite deep, a sign that goes in deep waters. Also, it might indicate a lot of emotions and feelings here. And having this eye also indicates that being able to see something clearly, realizing something, seeing something clearly, or maybe like uh, trusting your intuition because this might indicate the third eye, the, th the third eye chakra. And also with the Scorpio, there is a lot of mystery there. There is something that goes in deep waters. That's what I'm sensing. But the card is saying to in general trust. It might resonate in a different way for your situation, but first we are going to, yeah, we are going to go forward with the other cards and see what we will get. But maybe this message was quite specific for some of you regarding the person that that is on your mind, especially because you chose this card. So let's proceed with the spirit animals and get some main topics about this connection. Please, Spirit, give us some main topics regarding this connection between the person who chose the basil and uh, the one that is on their mind. We have the unicorn. Okay. <laughs> this is quite interesting because I told you something about the third eye chakra and the unicorn is representing the third eye chakra. This is something like a major arcana for this uh, deck. And it is representing indeed the third eye chakra. So, I mean, you can see where the third eye of that unicorn is. There is a horn. So, yeah, <laughs> this is the card that is representing the third eye chakra. And it wants to say something regarding intuition about something mysterious here. Something that you're about to see. So, having the unicorn in your reading. What I'm sensing here regarding your connection with this person there is something quite specific here. There is something quite unique regarding you and that person. And also there is that colorful moon-like thing behind that unicorn, which wants to indicate that there are feelings and emotions. There is something unique. And at the same time, there are feelings and emotions that are quite colorful. They are like in all kinds of shades and colors. Although the way this card is depicted, yeah, there are multi colors but also there is some dark shades as well okay let's keep moving and see what more we will get please spirit give us more information regarding this connection what we need to know what we need to know is a main topic for this connection we have the tiger okay <laughs> Another card that has moon on, uh, well, the tiger has moon on its forehead. 
So with the tiger card, we are talking about an animal that is usually hunting during the night. That's why the tiger is um, the tiger is uh, has the moon on its forehead. Also, what just comes to me as an information is that somebody here might be hiding something. Somebody might be hiding their feelings because we have the moon and we have a, a hunter that is hunting during the night. So somebody is hiding their feelings. Somebody might be literally stalking or checking the other person secretly. But yeah, this is what I'm feeling from this card that here we are talking about feelings. We are talking about emotions. But at the same time, there is some kind of secrecy here. Someone is hiding something and somebody is hunting during the night. Let's take some more cards. Please, Spirit, give us more information regarding this connection. What we need to know is a main topic. We have the black egg. <laughs> This is another card that is like major arcana and this represents the throat chakra, the one that is under the third eye chakra. <laughs> so you might get all the chakras here. <laughs> but indeed with this connection, um, what I'm feeling is that actually it makes sense with these two cards. I feel like here for this connection, somebody here is realizing something. Somebody here is seeing something on an intuitive level. Somebody has very strong intuition. But having the black egg, which represents the throat chakra, usually this card wants to indicate clear communication, saying things out loud. But to be honest, when I'm sensing from this card, just because it came, uh, I feel like here somebody might be having troubles to say things out loud. Especially, I mean, within the combination of these three here, because we have seeing something with your third eye, having some kind of intuitive information, at the same time hunting during the night, hiding. And then we have the throat chakra, which wants to say a lot with the expression, expressing things. And just seeing that black egg in the middle of uh, that white light, like it's blocking something, I, I sense it like a blockage, like somebody is not able to express something here. I'm just going to place them back together. Okay, let's see what the final card will be from this deck. Please, Spirit, give us one more card that will be as a main topic for this connection. What we need to know here. We have the shark. Okay. So the shark another hunter another hunter this this is a water type of hunter this one was more fire this one is more water type of hunter by water type i mean some something that goes within the water someone that goes within feelings and emotions but the shark usually is um, well the shark usually goes after its targets the shark is hunting the shark uh, the shark also lets go of what doesn't serve. I mean, by that, by that I mean, not that let lets go, but it's like um, someone who has quite uh, big, quite strong determination. Someone who once they notice something, they just go after it and they do not back down. And yeah, you can see how sharp the teeth of this shark of the shark are. I mean, all the sharks have uh, sharp teeth, but uh, I just sensed here that someone has determination here. Someone knows something and someone has very, very strong determination and they are not giving up. I mean, we have two cards that are indicating some kind of hunter kind of energy here. All right, let's proceed with the tarot and see what we are going to get regarding this connection. I'm just going to shuffle. I'm going to shuffle like this in order to just uh, cleanse the energy of the deck from the previous pile. Okay, so 
So with the previous file, I was thinking to first ask about the current situation, current energy of that person that is on your mind, but then I just decided to go with the core question and ask for the potential between you and the person on your mind. This is what I'm going to do here as well. So please spirit tell us what is the potential between between the person who chose the basil and the one that is on their mind? What is the potential between them? Please give us clear information. Knight of Wands. Page of Cups. And in the bottom we have Nine of Swords. Okay, this came interesting here. To start with, <clears throat> we don't have that... Um, well... The Knight of Wands is someone who wanders through places. The Knight of Wands is quite adventurous. Someone who doesn't settle down usually. Someone who just likes to roam around. And maybe there is some kind of distance between you and the person on your mind. Maybe maybe you met in, in a foreign country or maybe they are from a foreign country. But having the Knight of Wands here, it wants to indicate again some kind of movement. Some kind of uh, movement. But also I'm sensing a bit more uh, energy of a person that is not ready yet, somebody who is not ready to settle down. And having the Page of Cups under this card pretty much confirms it, because the Page of Cups is still a child. The Page is still a child and the Page needs to grow. Yes, the, I mean, the Page is expressing the Cups energy in its most pure, in its most pure form. Because the cups are usually emotions here. We are talking about someone who might have attraction, who might have... Um, yeah, somebody who might have feelings, who might have attraction, but at the same time, someone who is a bit more... Um, maybe carefree, not carefree, but um, someone who is not a um, settling type of person. Someone who is more free spirit, someone who likes to roam around. And here we have somebody that um, has feelings but still cannot express them that good because it's still a page. And in the bottom of the deck we have the we have the nine of swords in reverse position, which wants to indicate again, I don't know why I just indic I just make relation between this card and the unicorn and that I here because I just sense some kind of intuition here because as a general energy then the nine of swords here regarding this potential wants to indicate that probably in the past some of you have been thinking a lot about this person or maybe they have been thinking a lot about you since I'm asking about the energy between you two but now this card is coming in reverse position and I feel like somebody's making peace, somebody's getting some kind of knowledge, somebody's realizing something and the torture is over. Just bear with me for a moment because uh, I'm just going to take my medicine because my throat is really hurting. <laughs> just bear with me for a moment. So, indeed, having this card in the bottom of the deck, it wants to indicate that um, some kind of worry, some kind of frustration is being released. Somebody's realizing something again. I sense something related with intuition here, with the unicorn and with that eye in the basil. Also, the basil is saying to you trust. So here we are talking about something that you need to trust. And having these two cards here wants to indicate a bit more superficial kind of energy. I don't sense that much depth, at least for the beginning. But let's keep going further and see what we are going to get. So please, Spirit, give us more information regarding the situation here with the Knight of Wands and with the Page of Cups. What we need to know further here. What is the potential between the person who chose the Basil and the one that is on their mind? Judgment card. Okay. Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. <laughs> Okay, this is coming very interesting here, because the Judgment card is representing Pluto. Pluto is the, is the ruler of Scorpio, and Hierophant is representing Taurus. 
Taurus is the opposite sign of Scorpio. Both of them are fixed signs. Which is quite interesting here. I will go deeper, but I'm just I'm just saying you what I get as a first impressions by, by, by seeing these cards. So let's start with these two. <clears throat> so having the judgment card, it wants to indicate that here somebody is realizing something. This card is like a wake-up call. This card is like a call for something higher. From previous period, someone was a bit playing games. Someone was maybe lying to themselves. Someone was pretending. Someone was not honest. Someone was trying to pull out something cheeky. But having this card on the top wants to indicate that this is over. It's over with those games or with these cheeky tricks. Because there is some kind of call there is a call for something um, for some kind of higher uh, well from a higher power or regarding what you believe this card just wants to say that there is some kind of a deeper call that is like um, that is waking up someone for their purpose waking up someone regarding this connection and having the hero fund and the bottom of the deck wants to indicate that Indeed, this card can be associated with something serious, with something steady, because it has Taurus energy. At the same time, it, it has something to do with belief, it has something to do with traditions. But just seeing this hero fan here in the bottom of the deck as a general energy, I'm sensing something like a blessing here. It's like, <laughs> I just sense like this angel is blowing that trumpet and waking up somebody here in this connection and this card is like standing there in the bottom of the deck as a general energy is like yeah hallelujah finally someone realized what they're supposed to do here <laughs> it's like giving some kind of blessing here that's what i'm sensing from these cards so maybe in the beginning or maybe in general with these cards here things might not seem that deep things might seem a bit more shallow or just just somebody might not be ready, might not be in some kind of a, some kind of a settlement kind of energy. But here, seeing these cards here, somebody is waking up, and there is a blessing here from the hero fund. Okay, let's go further. <clears throat> Please, spirit, give us information about the outcome from this connection. What is the potential outcome of this connection? What we need to know about the potential outcome from this connection? We have the chariot. Under it we have the ten of wands. And we have the world card reversed. Okay. Okay, this is quite interesting here. And because... We have the Chariot and the Ten of Wands in reverse position. So, the Chariot wants to indicate moving forward. Also, the Chariot has Cancer energy here. Again, something related with emotions and feelings. Mm. And having the Ten of Wands under the Chariot, I'm sensing like here somebody is going to let go of something. Here somebody is going to let go of something heavy. This game is a final outcome, is a potential outcome from this connection. And yeah, it, I feel like here somebody is going to let go of something that was heavy on them. Because seeing this guy carrying all those wants to their, to their destination, it seems like the guy is quite tired. But since this card came in reverse position... It wants to indicate that the guy might not bring them to that house or to that place where they are bringing them. Somebody might just let go of it and once that person lets go, <laughs> there is some kind of victory here. Because we have the chariot card. The chariot card also indicates some kind of a victory. And I'm sensing that victorious energy from the chariot card, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, actually. It kind of make, makes sense. I feel like here we have that weird dynamic between you and the person that is on your mind. It kind of reminds me something to a Twin Flame journey, but I don't want to put any label on your connection. Please don't. Please take it with a grain of salt. Mm. 
but here we have <laughs> some kind of energies that are like push and pull kind of energy and especially with this card once somebody lets go this allows things to move forward so I remember there was a song that if you not a song but I remembered I read somewhere if you love someone you should let that person go and this is pretty much described with these cards because here we have somebody that is letting go of something heavy which leads to a victory which leads for things to move forward this is as a final or as an outcome from that connection so maybe somebody needs to let go of of attachments or things that are not serving but let's take it at the card that we have in the bottom of the deck we have the world card reversed <clears throat> this might indicate some kind of borders it might literally indicate literally there might be some kind of distance between you and the person that is on your mind since we have the knight of wands as well but the world card in reverse it might indicate some kind of borders or some something that is um, as a general energy there might be some kind of blockage something that is not allowing you and that person to come together but seeing these cards here i sense that in order to have victory you need to let go of something which is represented by the general energy as well because this card in upright position Oh, the candle just went out. I'm gonna change it just just a second. Having this card in an upright position, it will indicate that we have um, some kind of achievement, some kind of completion, complete story. And since this card came in reverse position, it wants to indicate that something is incomplete. There are some kind of borders or something is incomplete in general with this story yet. So what I'm saying to you is not the end between you and the person that I'm talking about. I feel like here there is a complete dynamic of push and pull kind of energy. And yeah, having the chariot wants to indicate that things might end up with, with a victory. But indeed something is not complete yet. So the cards are not saying, they are not saying like final result what things are going to be but they are saying that there is something like to be continued and in order to have a victory they are saying to you you should learn to let go i'm just going to change the candle just bear with me for a moment actually this one is different color and it smells like vanilla <laughs> so um, I, I, to be honest, I don't feel like drawing any more cards regarding this because I feel like the cards just wanted to say what they wanted to say regarding this connection. They are saying that something is not complete yet. There are things yet to happen between you and the person that is on your mind. And just remember what this card is saying. Oh my cat, I just noticed it. Things are going weird within this pile. <laughs> well, at least my candle, my cat. Mm and all those intuitive uh, major arcanas but the card is saying to you the very first card that you chose is saying to you trust so there is something here within this connection that require your utmost trusting you really need to trust in order to make things work out so let's take some songs for you as well and see what we are going to get Okay, I will take this one too. Let's see which songs you have. We have Eminem and Rihanna, Love the Way You Lie. <laughs> okay, well, this kind of describes a bit of push and pull kind of energy. Mm. There is a lot of dynamic within this song. I don't know why I just keep thinking about the music video of this song with Megan Fox and that guy that I forgot his name. Mm. But yeah, there is there are some kind of intense feelings here. Let's see the next one. We have Justin Timberlake, Crimea River. 
okay okay this is a breakup song but at the same time i don't sense here a breakup energy i sense i mean even this card is saying like something is incomplete something is to be continued and with this song again somehow i related with that song of rihanna and eminem it's like there is something uh, well there are very intense feelings here maybe the feelings are way too intense because we have scorpio here as an energy too so maybe the feelings indeed are a bit over the top and they need to be calm down a bit. Also here this card is saying to you that you need to let go of something. And then we have share, belief. Another song that is inviting, inviting you to believe. Similar like the card here that is saying to you trust. But as much as I remember this song is saying to you, do you believe in life after love? Mm. Well, just take what resonates for your situation. And then we have Olivia Rodrigo Vampire. Okay. <laughs> the songs are coming pretty aggressive here for this connection. I don't know why. But since this is a collective reading, just take what resonates for your situation. But with that song of Olivia Rodrigo, it just wants to say that somebody here is quite hurt. Somebody is feeling used. And I'm sensing the similar energy from these songs of Eminem and Rihanna and from that song of Justin Timberlake. I sense a similar energy of someone being used. And this song of Cher, Do You Believe in Life After Love? I don't know, just the songs that came out are have some kind of a different vibe from the overall reading. Or, yeah, the reading itself had a lot of strong energy, to be honest, with those cards that came out. There was some kind of a strong energy here, I sense that as well. But I don't know how it's going to resonate for your situation, so please take things with a grain of salt and keep in mind that this is a collective feeling, so just listen to your intuition in order to know what is meant for you. So, that was your reading pile number two. If you find it useful, please don't hesitate to hit the like button so more people can benefit from it. And also, I will be more than happy if you subscribe to my channel because your support really means the world to me. And yeah, pretty much that was it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your attention. And I hope to see you again. Wish you a lovely rest of the day. Bye. Hello there, pal number three. For those of you who chose the carrot, the carrot wants to say to you clarity. And also, I just noticed that Illuminati-like sign here, which indeed indicate some kind of intuitive feeling here within this card and also we have an eye so I feel like you are about to see something regarding this connection I feel like you are about to realize something I feel like if you have confusions regarding the person that is on your mind clarity is about to come soon to you and also we have the Virgo the Virgo sign here on this card the Virgo it has a lot to do with the health healthy lifestyle or something but in regards with the person that is on your mind I'm sensing that the Virgo also is quite straightforward the Virgo is also someone who is quite honest and yeah I'm sensing a lot of uh, honesty here a lot of uh, clarity that is about to come in into your life regarding this connection so let's proceed with the reading and see what we are going to get First, I'm going to start with my Animal Spirit deck to get some main topics regarding you and the person that is on your mind. By the way, you might have noticed that the candle changed color. <laughs> well, actually, I changed the candle because, um, yeah, the other one just went out and I had, I didn't have any more pink candles, so I just put a yellow one. And, yeah, let's proceed with the reading. By the way, I might pause every now and then because my voice is coming and going because I have a sore throat. So, please accept my apologies if that happens so let's see what are the main topics for this connection please spirit give us information what are the main topics regarding the connection between the people who chose the carrot and the one that is on their minds we have the bear okay so with the bear 
we are talking about some kind of um, slumber. Maybe at the moment you are not much in contact with that person. Or maybe things are a bit more calm. Things are... Well, when we talk about the bear, we talk about winter slumber. Like uh, taking a rest, taking a break. And... It actually has something like... It indicates some kind of a period maybe of no contact as well. Maybe you are not in contact with that person. But what gets my attention is the sun that is shining here. So the sun is like waking up someone. So... Yeah, indeed, from this card, what I perceive is that maybe there was some kind of period of either no contact between you and the person that is on your mind, or maybe mm, there was some kind of period where things were just not, there wasn't much going on. But having the sun there in this card, I sense that somebody here is waking up, something is about to wake up here, something is about to happen, some kind of action. <laughs> and also, this card is saying to clarity, so... Something is going to come, I mean, something is going to happen in this connection. Please, Spirit, give us more information regarding this connection. What we need to know. This card wanted to come. And we have the Hulk. Okay. So, again, this card has a lot to do with clarity because the Hulk is flying up high. The Hulk is flying near the sun. And can see things from from high perspective so also just seeing this hope i'm feeling like somebody might receive a message somebody might receive um well again it has something to do with clarity here seeing things from a clear perspective understanding things from a clear perspective just flying high and seeing things i mean you can see that behind this hope there is that darkness and the direction towards which the Hulk is flying is all white and it's all light. So here somebody is flying towards enlightenment. Here somebody is flying towards the truth. I sense that here in this pile some kind of truth is about to be revealed. Something is about to just come to light here. Please Spirit give us more information. What we need to know about this connection is a main topic. We have the hummingbird, okay. Again, we have that light thing and we have those colors around the hummingbird. Well, the hummingbird wants to indicate uh, some kind of uh, compressed energy. We have a tiny bird, but at the same time, um, a bird that is flying around and brings positivity. And also the hummingbird is a singing bird. So as I told you, here somebody is about to sing. <laughs> I can't sing myself because my, my throat is hurting a lot. But, I mean, literally with this card, I, I don't mean singing, but somebody is going to just... Um, somebody is just going to, going to reveal something. Somebody is going to talk their truth. Because a hummingbird is a singing bird. And what I'm sensing from this card is that somebody is about to just admit something. Somebody is going to going to admit what they feel or what is going on and it kind of fits with the entire profile of the cards that just came up until now please spirit give us one more card in order to get some kind of a main topic regarding this connection what we need to know about it Cosmic Egg, okay, <laughs> that's quite interesting here because this card is like Major Arcana and the Cosmic Egg um, is representing the, the Crown Chakra, the Seventh Chakra, the one that is related with Divine Power and having the Cosmic Egg, again you can see all those colors in this egg, there is something divine here, there is something that... Um, yeah, I sense a lot of uh, healing as well because we have the snake that is that is wrapped around this egg and it's like protecting it. Somehow it just reminds me of that pharmacy symbol. So I sense a lot of healing here. Somebody's 
I sense the similar thing from the Hulk as well because it's in the light and it's flying up high. So I sense some kind of a divine kind of energy here, some kind of divine intervention. Because somebody here is being pushed to sing, somebody's being pushed to say what they were supposed to say. And having the cosmic egg, this has a lot to do with the seventh chakra, with the crown chakra, which is related with the higher power, with cosmic power, with um, with your higher self, with um, yeah, with the universe as well, your connection to the universe. So definitely I'm sensing here some kind of revelation, something is about to be revealed. All the cards are pointing towards that. Okay, let's go with the tarot cards and see what the tarot has to say regarding this situation here, what we need to know. I'm going to shuffle like this in order to refresh the energy of the deck. Okay, I failed. Yeah, it's all right. So what I did with the previous pulse was just go directly to the core question, which is what is the potential of this connection? And I will start with the same procedure here as well. So please, Spirit, give us information. What is the potential of this connection? What is the potential of this connection? What we need to know regarding the potential of this connection? Oh. <laughs> Okay, these are too many, but I'm gonna take them all, like that. So, maybe they want to indicate a complete story. And in the bottom we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, this is quite interesting here. So, we have the Sun card and you know in tarot that the sun card is the most positive card and having the sun card and having the nine of pentacles under the sun card this indicates a lot of positivity here because the nine of pentacles represents someone who is quite rich someone who has everything they want but at the same time that person is a bit lonely because she's all alone there but she's in contact with spirit guides as well because there is a bird on her hand. And climbing from this card towards the sun card, I feel like here we are talking about uh, here we are talking about all kind of abundance because here we have material well-being, material abundance. Also, I sense a bit of lonely energy. But coming towards the sun card, I sense overall positivity overall positivity because the sun is shining bright and it's just uh, shining through all the doubts all the all the negative things and pushing them away so indeed i'm sensing that there is a lot of potential here for happiness and here we have the page of cups and five of swords so this wants to indicate some kind of a situation between you and your person that um, involves something like a pyrrhic victory. It's like um, you were in something like a war with that person, but from that war nobody had no nobody won. Actually, you both lost. And this is what the card wants to indicate here. Maybe there were some kind of feelings. Maybe there are some kind of feelings, but at the same time, there was some kind of a war here that was going on. I don't know what is the situation with you. It might resonate different for the different people, because this is a collective reading. But since this card is coming in reverse, it wants to indicate that the war is over. The war is finished. There is no more war. And here we have the Page of Cups under this card, which also wants to indicate some kind of positivity because the page is like, it's like um, offering peace. Somebody's coming and offering peace here. And indeed, I sense peace here in this, in this pile. 
and having the Ace of Pentacles in the bottom of the deck also wants to indicate some kind of a new beginning. Maybe, maybe um, things went wrong with that person, maybe things went in a confusing way, but the overall energy here is a new beginning and a powerful one because we have the Pentacle here. I mean, this hand is just holding the Pentacle and I just noticed that there is a glow around this hand. It's like Again, I sense some kind of divine intervention here. <laughs> Something that was meant to go the way it's meant to go. And also I just noticed that road here that is leading towards a door. So definitely I sense some kind of renewal. I sense new energy here. I sense a new chance. If you are not in contact with this person, there is some kind of second chance here that is given to you. And I feel like this is whatever has happened in the past. I mean, we can see that here. Definitely there was something that was going on wrong. It's like you were fighting with each other or something like that, but you were not even sure what you were fighting for because you were both losing from that fight. But yeah, what the cards are indicating is that there is some kind of peacemaking here and there is a powerful new beginning. Alright, let's proceed with the cards and ask further, what, um, what is the final outcome from this connection? What is the potential for final outcome from this connection? What we need to know, Spirit, please tell us what is the potential for final outcome from this connection. Three of Cups, Seven of Cups and Temperance. Okay, this came interesting. Mm. But you can see that all the cards are indicating... Well, even in this card we have cups. I just noticed. Even in the temperance we have cups. So cups are a lot of feelings and emotions. And I'm just sensing from these cards here some kind of celebration. I mean, you can see how they are triumphing here. They are celebrating something. So I think this pretty much clarifies our answer to the final potential. I mean, to the potential, the final outcome from this connection. Here we have uh, the Seven of Wands. I mean, the Seven of Cups, which wants to indicate choices, making choices. But also it might indicate a lot of opportunities and options. Well, the overall energy I'm sensing from these two cards is some kind of celebration, coming into union or celebration, like um, like uh, finishing this uh, with something, um, with some kind of a triumph kind of energy, with celebration. And having the temperance card in, in the bottom of the deck, it wants to indicate uh, balance. Again, we have the cups here and the angel is just flowing the water between the two cups. And as I, as I can see, nothing is going down, so the emotions are flowing freely. I'm just trying to fit the seven of uh, cups here. Mm. But normally this card wants to indicate, illusion, wants to indicate um, not illusions, but um, options. And having it under the Three of uh, Cups, well, I'm sensing more like dreams come true here, to be honest. It's like the dreams are coming true and there is some kind of celebration. And also this card is also indicating as a general energy, finding balance. Finding the balance that was needed. Because you can see, I mean, on this angel, it also looks like a healer because it has the thing that the doctors have in order to check things. And also the sun is rising in this card. I also noticed the road that is leading towards the sun, which leads towards the happiness. But indeed, this is what I'm sensing, that there is some kind of balance that is being found within this connection. And yeah... I sense that there is a lot of potential here, pile number three. 
take it as it resonates for you but the potential here is really big because the cards wanted to indicate some kind of clarity that is about to come which will come through communication and also there is some kind of divine intervention here that also i'm sensing from the cosmic egg and all the cards that just came out they indicate some kind of positivity i don't i didn't sense any negative energy here maybe here there was some kind of negative energy in the past there was some kind of misunderstanding but in general there is peace there is triumph okay let's take some songs for you and see what songs we are going to get okay oh these are too many okay i will take them all we have selena gomez lose you to love me so this wants to indicate that somebody here needed to well maybe you lost that person or maybe they lost you in order to learn to love themselves better this might indicate something from your past but just take it as it resonates this is a collective reading so not everything might be resonating we have taylor swift style you never go out of style <laughs> So there is some kind of um, hmm, typical style here for this connection, from this connection. That's what I'm sensing. It's like, um, I sense that there was something like letting go. I mean, we can see from the bear also that there was dormant kind of energy. Some, something was sleeping and then it's waking up again when the time comes, when the right divine time is coming for this. Let's see the next one. <laughs> Katy Perry, hot and cold. <laughs> okay, maybe here somebody was acting hot and cold. Maybe somebody had a lot of interest in the beginning, then pulled back and there was running and chasing. Eminem and Rihanna, love the way you lie. <laughs> Maybe somebody was not honest here as well. Well, normally from this song, I sense deep feelings, but I don't know why. And I just opened it. And the first thing that came to my mind was about lying. So I think here somebody was hiding something. Somebody was lying. And finally, we are finishing with Kaigo, Firestone. This uh, song is about coming together. This song is about two firestones, not firestones, but just two flames that are that are turning into a fire. This song is like twin flame song, soulmate song, and all kind of songs that are indicating two people coming together and being in perfect union. So yeah, it came more positive than I expected, to be honest. I actually didn't expect to have such a positive result. I hope, I really hope it resonates with your situation. And yeah, there is nothing more I can add to this. So if you enjoyed the reading, please don't hesitate to hit the like button so more people can see it and benefit from it. And also, I would be more than happy if you subscribe to my channel because your support is really important for me. It literally, literally means the world to me. And yeah, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your attention. And I hope to see you again. Wish you a lovely rest of the day. Bye.